Hey Vancouver Canucks fans, before we dive into today's exciting news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update from Vancouver Canucks News Today fan. Now let's get into it. The Vancouver Canucks made a splash on the first day of free agency by signing seven players. Jake DeBrusque, Kiefer Sherwood, Derek Forbort, Danton Heinen, Vincent Descharnay, Jerry Patera, and Nate Smith. After the shopping spree, general manager Patrick Alvin has very limited cap space left for more moves, unless a trade happens. However, there are still a few valuable free agents left on the market the Canucks could consider. Justin Schultz Justin Schultz was once a highly sought-after free agent coming out of the NCAA. Canucks were one of the teams bidding for him back then, and now with Alvin at the helm, they might still be interested in the Vancouver native. Schultz had his best seasons with the Pittsburgh Penguins including a career-high 12 goals and 51 points in 2016-17, and he played a crucial role in their back-to-back -back Stanley Cup wins. If the Canucks signed Schultz, he could reunite with his former Seattle Kraken defense partner, Carson Soucy. Together, they were effective, boasting a 51-2-7 Corsi for percentage, CF percent, and helping the Kraken outscore their opponents 10-4 in the playoffs. Schultz's ability to move the puck and his offensive awareness would add much-needed speed to the Canucks' blue line. Adam Buckvist The Columbus Blue Jackets bought out Swedish defenseman Adam Buckvist, making him an unrestricted free agent at 23. Buckvist was the centerpiece of the blockbuster trade sending Seth Jones to the Chicago Blackhawks, faced injury troubles, limiting his play. Despite this, Buckvist has shown flashes of his potential like his 11-goal, 22-point season in 2021-22. Boakvist is a dynamic puck-moving defenseman with exceptional hockey IQ and awareness. The Canucks could take advantage of his bargain basement value right now and sign him. He could still become an impact defenseman in the NHL, and his potential makes him an attractive option for Vancouver. Tyson Berry Tyson Berry, another Vancouver native, could find his way to the Canucks on a bargain deal. Berry was a power play specialist in Edmonton, but had an underwhelming stint in Nashville. He is now a free agent looking for a new home. Barry could anchor the second power play unit and add more speed and puck movement to the Canucks' defense court. He was rumored to be a target for Alvin last December, so it wouldn't be surprising to see renewed interest. A one-year deal could bring him in at a reasonable price. Canucks should add one more puck-moving defenseman in free agency. While the Canucks have bolstered their blue line with Descharnay and Forbort, both are known more for their physicality than their skating or offense. Schultz, Boakvist, or Barry would add that extra layer of speed and offensive ability, helping to push the pace and spend less time in their own zone. We'll see what else Alvin has up his sleeve in the next couple of months. But one more signing should be someone capable of moving the puck and putting up points from the back end. What do you think about these potential signings, Canucks fan? You think any of these players would be a good fit for Vancouver? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.